Eduardo can show some models that we are working on as, as the main characters. I want to show you some of the bounce of the Viking character. Wow, the eyes look, looks nice. Oh, thank you. They will be better even. But yeah, when, when yeah. rendered, of course. Yeah, this is not rendered. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, this is the armor, the, skeleton, the metallic skeleton. Oh, I, I love the details on text. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, and yeah, of course, the, every character will have his own char characteristics. Like, for example, the Viking will have more melee attacks. That's why he gets um, swords, axes, uh, basically melee attacks. And for example, for Newton, we will have more um, like, uh, I would say a science attack, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a magic attack. Cleopatra will have both melee and magic attacks. Um, yeah, basically. Um, so well, while Eduardo is searching, so once we have have those characters inside the game, it will be a huge milestone because, as you can see, they are really, really detailed. And uh, of course, this one is not finished, so there's going to be more details there. So when they reach uh, above one million polygons. And uh, yeah. it will need to be downscaled to, uh, from 20 to 40,000 polygons in order to be, you know, available, <laughs> you know, possible to play with them in the game because it would be too laggy. Exactly. Yeah. This is Cleopatra's body. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, we are working on Don't Raving, as, as I must say. Uh, this is the support that we will use for the NFT, the high quality NFTs, basically how it's approximation to how the NFTs will look like. Yeah. Uh, well, we have. They, they won't. They won't. They won't look like this at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, no, no pixels, no Minecraft, no Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. So there's going to be obviously every single NFT different, at least, uh, you know, some color changes or something, but there's going to be different weapons, glowing weapons, different poses. How many uh, NFTs are you uh, planning to release? So it will be 10,000 NFTs and 2,500 variations for, for each character. So four characters in the beginning. And then, uh, yeah, and then it will be basically just... Uh, uh, one character at a time, uh, you know, in in the following months. So every month or two, uh, we will be releasing new character. And what's going to be really nice that you guys will have 10% share in those NFTs if you win the monthly tournament. So, for example, if you uh, make a guild, get the friends, start playing, you know, fighting against other guilds, and uh, you win the major event, which will happen once a month, uh, you will have a say which character will be next. So we will not just uh, work with uh, um, historical characters, but also with, uh, we can make influencers, we can make uh, Elon Musk a cyborg and, and, and get him in, in this game. So, and... Uh, yeah, the sale of that uh, uh, NFT, uh, you know, that guild will have ten percent share in in the uh, from the sale. So this is like huge money making opportunity, and uh, yeah, like a like a big factor to play and get the guild. But as well, if you don't want to get the guild, you can just play. Uh, like the betting mode or just play the normal mode where you will be ranking, still ranking up, still leveling up. And uh, if you do a good job with the ranking, uh, you will earn some revival. Just doing some tasks will earn you some revival as well. So 
Oh, so this is the pre-rendered one as well. Oh, nice. I would like to see that beauty from uh, all all corners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, from this... from from which from which angle you would love to see it the most? <laughs> <laughs> Guess from this. <laughs> Can you zoom in a little bit as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. To be honest, it's 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 one of the most detailed NFTs out there. Uh, we have done like many many researches and they was made not by one person but the group of people and so far we didn't see something like this especially in nft gaming sir yeah and the games as well uh they they are not there is no skill needed to play those games there's it's just gonna be i don't know really boring um and uh, they only rely on new users uh, coming to the game, which is good. That, that's what we need as well. But um, it's not sustainable if if it stagnates. So, for example, if we hit the bear market, and uh, you know those games might not even survive. Um, where this, we're gonna have a really skill based game where it's gonna be fun to play, fun to compete. So. Just investing passively uh, is 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 still gonna gonna be there and uh, not gonna you know die off, die out. But just playing it with your friends, grinding the ranks, occasionally winning some revival, even if you are not betting on. Uh, because one of the main uh, uh, ways to play it, it will be betting. So you would um, you know push your revival tokens like a thousand revival tokens. Uh, and uh, you will wait for another opponent to respond with a thousand revival tokens. And if you win, you take their token. So you essentially, you know, if you're going to get more skilled in a game, you will be winning and winning. Of course, there's going to be some losses, but uh, yeah, um, with leveling, with upgrading the characters, uh, with new armor and everything like that, uh, you know, new weapons, uh, it's going to increase your statistics. And plus, once you decide that maybe for that character it's enough and you maybe bought a couple of NFTs, you could sell that character with all the statistics. And so on Kalau, uh, people will see what level is the NFT. So, yeah, that whole metadata. And like Aurumas had mentioned, so what we can see at this moment... Mm, I, I'm not saying all of NFT games, but most of them, they are more like play to, uh, sorry, pay to win. As mm -hmm. you buy the stronger NFTs, as you buy the stronger characters, you, you win more, more, you earn more. And over here, we are reaching out uh, for the gamers as well, because it will be skill-based game. It won't be depending only on which rarity NFT you have. It will be based as well on which level you are and and and, uh, and how, how well is your you character. Play. Yeah, yeah. How well you play and how much you play, basically. Because if you uh, how to say learn the game, learn the skills, learn the moves, the special moves, you will be better than your opponent. Yeah. So as Aramas had told, it would be really skill-based play-to-earn game. Um, you mentioned that there was maybe a, a plan of extending uh, the project to, uh, to a 3D metaverse, or Aramas, I think you mentioned that, or uh, yeah. it was my question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So once we... So what... uh, basically, there are a couple of ways it could go. It could go slower and it could go faster. So uh, on the 15th of, uh, the, of March this month, we are starting a seed sale. And 10% um, okay. uh, of the tokens will be offered. So, um, it, you know, uh, depending how well we do, uh, we could really, really accelerate and uh, push beyond what we initially 
thought that we're going to accomplish first and then do, but we could simulta simultaneously start working on the metaverse as well, like a 21st century sci-fi uh, metaverse where, um, you know, uh, ROA will be part of it, uh, where we will have a... Uh, where we'll, we will have an arena, people can come, uh, enjoy the game, look at it, play it, and then go beyond it. And, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be plots of land uh, to buy, to purchase, to, you know, uh, start your own thing going there. And we will build more activities as well. So that is definitely possible with the seed sale. We should, uh, you know, 10x our time. Uh, is the, uh, as well as with NFTs, with the game, with the current game, and uh, yeah, yeah, there are there are. It is in plan. It is in plan. We've yeah. spoken with so, our uh, game. Let, let's suppose the seed sale goes really well, as it should, because you guys have made an amazing work, and uh, we're going to back you up for that. Um, so, uh, what would be your estimate time of arrival? Because I I think the girl the the, the, the work that you already did is super bullish for uh, launching a project because it shows the skill set that you have. It shows that you're not joking around and that you already made the work without expecting anyone to to give you money. And it's uh, really remarkable. But so uh, in case, like, for example, yeah, it's, it, it, go, it, it goes well. Um, what would be your, like, let's say, I don't know, six months, you would, uh, or uh, your estimate time of, of opening the metaverse? Opening... Yeah. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, because to make a game would, uh, would take us about two months, sort of, uh, in, in a stage where, well, two to three months, let's say, uh, NFTs about two months. Uh, all the smart contracts, everything will go in par parallel with that. So two to three months, and then as we will be working uh, on the metaverse in par parallel as well, uh, yeah, about six months is the right time. And, you know, we don't need to create all of it. We can create it in patches. We can create one area where there yeah. is row again and more activity surrounding it, cities, yeah. so on. And then expand. Ah, it. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, totally, totally. I totally agree. But uh, I think uh, as well the latency is the is the three D stuff and um, being able to move around and just to hang out, like even um, like uh, yeah, even even a map without any activity is already bullish. You know, <laughs> people they find they find themselves. Oh, uh, we stuff. saw an example. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? yes, but I didn't want to mention it, but yeah, we, 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 you know, people, they, they find themselves actually activities to do, to do, you know, and it was impressive for the project actually we're yeah. talking about. We would make yeah. something, uh, uh, ROA related, I think, um, you know, like sort of like Final Fantasy or that kind of way, yeah, but yeah, not, yeah. not too much, yeah. but you know, something that, because people are now making something like really plain, almost like Simps type of, yeah. You know, it's just like there is no theme. We would make it with a theme. Yeah, uh, yeah no, and, definitely, uh, definitely. Yeah. And I think we have a pretty yeah, good uh, idea going on in there. And uh, if you can have, like, yeah, a bit of sci fi city with uh, shuttle buses like flying around yeah, and stuff yeah. like this, you know. Mm. And uh, well, okay, that's nice to know. I had a second trip. Yeah, the vesting schedule uh, for the seed round, uh, how, how is it? Uh, Christian, maybe you can, or should I, uh, for the vesting schedule and everything? Yeah, go ahead and uh, give him an overview. So, uh, yeah, the for the seed sale, we'll do like that. Uh, half of the tokens will be available straight away after the pre-sale, and half of it is, is going to be after a month. That's our current uh, uh, model. We will research a little bit more into that, and either we're going to stick to that or we might uh, put it into free. So, uh, so let's say one-third of the tokens get released straight away after the pre-sale, yeah. then one-third after a month and one-third after two months. But the price in a seed sale is going to be 75% cheaper than in uh, you know, like the final uh, pre-sale, which is going to be a public pre-sale. 
for the vesting schedule. Uh, best case that I ever saw one, was when the vesting schedule was really um, little, I mean... Uh, linear? Least, maybe like a linear, um, yeah, you know, yeah, releases? Really, yeah, exactly. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be like, if, if you're giving the half half of the token one month later, you're going to see a huge dump in the chart, like people are going to freak out. The best is like every week, let's say 10%, you know, something like this over two months. So it makes like 80% and you can have 20% on launch because on launch, especially if they have the discount, uh, it's going to pump anyway. So they will basically get their money back that they invested straight on launch. So if they actually want to sell, they will get their money back and they will have this uh, vesting schedule that's going to release 10% every week. So it's not going to dump it hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, we yeah, yeah. Further, because I actually had uh, quite a lot of experience in that because I was, uh, yeah, during a long time I was investing in Red Kite, uh, the, the launch pad of uh, Pol Polkadot. So, uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, what do you think, Christian? I think that makes sense. The uh, linear vesting 10% every week over two months. It's much more healthy for the chart. And we can do that, uh, isn't it? Yeah. In a couple of those weeks before to raise the smart smart contract yeah oh i mean oh, first yeah because it's a seat yeah it, it comes up yeah the, the whole thing yeah 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 exactly. so yeah we we have more time than that to to, to do something like that yeah yeah sure uh and, if the investors are fine with that then we we are fine with that as well you know exactly uh, so, it's it's so for that, I think we will definitely listen to the uh, community and uh, it, it depends on what they want. And that's what we'll do um, for sure. I, I guess it's not too hard to raise money in a, in a bull market and uh, maintain the project while it lasts, even if it's a half-baked project. But uh, you really need to consider what will happen in the bear market if you are for the long term. And because we are creating this extensive, uh, you know, uh, project um i'm always thinking about the bear market <laughs> you know so if we cover that area i think we're gonna be just fine in the bull market yeah yeah no and as long as the team is working hard and always providing to the community you don't have anything to worry about you know the only project that actually dies out are the project that the devs are just you know chilling around and just sitting on the money they made on make uh, clear about the um, the fundraising, basically. So there's going to be a seed that is going to be 50K, more or less, right? So that's, that would be... No, so uh, entire uh, entire thing is going to be, if I remember correctly, uh, 170K. Uh, so that's the entire thing. But minimally... The yeah, that the seed round. Uh, but minimally, if we go beyond 50K mark, or, or so it's going to be already really, really good for us to push the project really fast. But okay. everything above that will just skyrocket us uh, because once we start to show the game to, you know, uh, reliable, uh, let's say, channels, YouTube, uh, not YouTube, sorry, uh, Telegram channels, AMAs and everything like that, they will be really stoked about the project. And uh, plus, we're going to have, cause even in two weeks' time, we're going to have another update. So, you know, uh, on the game. So, uh, and uh, after the seed by that round, time, is there going to be a private sale after the seed round, or is just. So, like this a... is the thing. Right now, we are in talks with Synapse Network. I don't know, guys, if you know them, but like I they see. take only really, really good projects. About 80% of the projects are uh, games game related we spoke with them they are quite um conservative so basically due, due to market conditions right now they are not raising any funds they even start with the seed sale and they do the private sales and then the uh private sale a private sale b type of scenarios and uh, they really screened the projects uh really well i mean there was no rug pull or anything like that in their community ever uh, they have about 75,000 people, investors, who they believe their word because they have financial investors, they have traders, uh, sorry, financial investors, uh, financial uh, advisors, that's what I meant to say. Um, traders, they have, uh, 
you know, programmers there, uh, uh, people who worked in the financial sector for 20 years, and they screen you really well. And uh, we are uh, working on a proposal to them, um, you know, with all our material uh, for the later rounds when the market recovers, because we're still going to uh, run the seed round for one and a half months if need be. Uh, but um, but if in that time, sh the market should recover, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, they will they will decide for us if uh, not that they will decide for us, but we will talk with them. Uh, how many rounds should we go for? But the good the good thing with them is even if you are unsuccessful, for example, because they really take a good look at your project, they give you a high, a big report. They give you a big report where you will be able to, you know, make some good adjustments to your project. And uh, the guys there told us about that, that there were projects who came, uh, they had something not good enough in their projects, they gave big reports, they adjusted everything, what needed to be adjusted, and they came back and they launched their uh, projects su successfully and, uh, you know, done good done, done good rounds and, and are good projects. So, yeah, that even from that perspective, we want to go with them because it would be like a prestige to, 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 to be on that platform with all the other great projects. I've recently seen some uh, shooter game, which is like really good graphics and everything. And, uh, you know, some games from Steam come there to to get, uh, you know, their opinion and how to integrate and everything else. And, yeah, so it would be really nice to, to be on that platform. But we, um, you know, considering other platforms as well, I recently spoke to Avalon Avalanche, not the Avalanche, but Avalanche Launcher. Um, so they are reviewing our project as well. So they might get in, you know, in contact with us shortly. Uh, yeah, and uh, we we will discuss with with them how should we proceed better. But I think yeah, there will be a private sale. There will there will be I think three rounds uh, minimum, and then we will see if if that might get split up into more rounds uh, by by anyone's uh, 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 like by anyone's suggestion. We will take a look if. If, if we need to do more or just stay with three of them, yeah. Question that I get every time. Uh, okay. Are, are, are you getting uh, reflections or rewards for holding the token? Do you think uh, staking. It's going to be staking that you're going to be doing to get nice. reflections, but not, yeah. not from the token because we are not creating a, uh, you know, a crap coin in the first place and the staking will give you uh, game rewards as well and leverage in the game in terms of uh, ranking uh, leveling and uh, which will help to earn more token so uh, the reflections will come through staking we are not doing reflections as like safe moon or some tokens like that which doesn't have any purpose to have any at all will you be able to stake your nfts as well Mm, I don't know. We didn't I think about it, to be honest. It would be good, I think. Uh, what? Uh, in what way do you? What? Mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. You know what? What will be the closest to staking NFTs is within the game. For example, you played some rounds and uh, you you had some good time, and you know that you're not going to be playing, uh, let's say, for a week or so. You can put your NFT on rent. So those people who don't have the NFTs, that's within the game. Uh, they and they see oh you're level ten then it means you can you know uh, because bef uh, until level ten you will have only a certain amount of money you can bet against another player from level ten onwards that 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 revival tokens will double so if you have uh, uh, level ten and more levels above uh, you know character you can rent it out. And someone will pick it up and play with it to earn that money. So you will yeah, be yeah, earn, earning from the rents and earning a, um, a percentage of their winnings. And you're not going to lose anything if the person loses who rented your NFT. And let's say after a week you re you come back, oh, you got some revival. Maybe let's take that. Let's Let's get more leverage on leveling. And I'm playing again. That's it. 
So there Great. will be a passive income uh, to be made from so uh, from NFTs themselves. Yeah, but not as stake. Yeah, I've done the models. Uh, it will be revealed at some point. Uh, you know, of the player situations. Uh, what 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 could happen? How the player would play? How the money comes back in the game? We made a lot of models uh, to make it that you need the revival token to make more revival token, and uh, and yeah, and plus there is skill involved. So and we haven't seen many games like that. So I think we 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 gonna be somewhere up there definitely in a you know in the future. I can't say when because you know the market conditions and. Uh, Picking up pace uh, within the project will will do as as good as possible. But uh, you know, would there be plans like like make a mobile app for like Android and um, Huawei and iOS? And how 100%, soon would that be? One hundred percent. Maybe I'll give to Eduardo to answer a little bit about the you know the quality of the uh, characters and everything and. Uh, how we need to downscale and you know for that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah, we are planning the game in two phase in two phases. Yeah. And we are going to launch um, a PC version first. And when we have the the uh, you know the the note phones um we will make also the mobile version. Why is that? It's because of this. Uh, these models, like uh, the ones I showed to you, um, are in a very high polygons. Uh, polygons are the base of the characters. You know, so let's say it's um, it's a base of the mesh. Um, more polygons is like more pixels, more quality, but more weight. And mobiles, mobile device uh, needs a uh, less uh, amount of information that can, they can manage to have um, a smooth movement, a smooth graphics. Uh, so that's why we need to as Aurima said, we need to downgrade the model. That means basically make another character that will, um, how to say, that will emulate that character from the high polygon. So that's why these models were for, for example, these models, as you see, are for the NFTs. But why? Because in the NFTs, we can have the best quality, the best of the best. And then we will have a, a, don't, a downgrade uh, model for the PC version of the game. And then, of course, we will have a, in the future, um, a more, uh, a more um, downgrade graphic for the mobiles. But yeah, and the idea is that you can, you know, you are playing the game in your cell phone and you can play against a, a guy who is behind a PC. So there is no problem for that. Yeah, it's going to be cross-platform, basically. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so, you know, NFTs downgraded to PC quality to have that really, really good PC quality for the game. And then downgrade it lower, even lower to, you know, to have, we don't want to sacrifice the PC version basically. So if we downgrade straight away to the uh, mobile, then the, you know, the PC version will suffer. So we will make a PC version first and then we would downgrade it accordingly to, you know, to, yeah, for, for the, for the mobiles and it will and take a while. Uh, yeah. And as you can see, it, it will take a while. So that's why uh, it's important for us to basically raise the seed funding so that we can accelerate this. So also what I wanted to ask is uh, you, were, you were talking about levels, yeah? Yeah. So like from level 10 above, you get to do extra stuff. Um, yeah. What, is the base, what are the basis for moving up levels? Is it like your play time 
or how much you, you've got there? Leveling, we will have RPG elements in the game, you know. So, for example, from level 5, you'll, you'll be able to uh, get the better equipment, which will give you more stats. Um, not necessarily, but some equipment will be level-specific. Uh, or, you know, uh, you have to be that level or above to, to, to get to, to be able to wear that equipment. Um, and uh, also, f like, from level 10, you will be able to bet bigger amounts of revival. From level 20, it will double again. From level 30, it will double again. So every 10 levels. And there's going to be a ranking system as well, which is ranking system is going to be more volatile. So... You can be ranked 20 one day, but if you don't play the game, you, you might log in and see that you are level, uh, I'm sorry, ranked 10 again, you know, because there's going to be a, a list of people. So if someone is, uh, if someone is more active, they're going to push down the people who are inactive and uh, uh, rank, ranks ranking, themselves. Yeah. Say it again? Yes. That will be based yes. on ranking, yeah. I couldn't get that. You, you mean like the, the playtime affects only ranking? Um, so it depends what do you do there in the playing. If you are in a guild chat, in a guild and just chatting to people, nothing's going to change. But uh, yeah, I mean, you'll you'll have to go and fight um, for your life. <laughs> and oh, okay. uh, let, let me let me make the scenario now. Let's say um, yeah. I and Eduardo come into the game the same day. We have um, four fights each. We both won. Who gets to move higher up a level? Is it like if I win two more fights, I get to be higher than Eduardo on the level? Is it like based on how many wins I have? That's why my level keeps increasing. Or yeah, uh, level will be increasing. Level? level will be increasing slower, of course, if you are fighting the same level guy. If you are fighting someone one level above or two levels above, it will be increasing faster, but they will be stronger, so it will be harder to fight them, you know. But if you are skilled and someone else was just grinding to get those levels, you know, you can beat them. It's, so it's not even just the statistics game. The statistics is involved, but your skill will play a huge part unless you are careless for that day or something. But uh, if you are skilled, uh -huh. you can beat the higher level guys uh you know and and jump up in level uh yourself uh and and get okay. more reward rewards uh, while rank oh, okay. rank is going to be more of a grinding thing so for example if you're going to achieve three ranks in a row without losing a rank uh you know you're going to win some revival token out of the treasury out of the um, you know game rewards wallet uh, okay. If you win six ranks in the row, in the row, so there will be chances for people to win win the revival token without owning anything. They will be less limited, but uh, you know, still they can play enjoy with guy with, with, with you know with other people and uh, win some revival, and then they they can stake it. They can you know uh, try a, a, a betting fight and then double the money. You know, and maybe you buy an NFT along the way, stuff like that. It's going to be just, uh, you can start with nothing and you can, it's going to be really hard, of course, because the competition is going to be there, but you can, you can start with the, with nothing and go till the end there. Uh, okay, but um, it, will, it will take ages. <laughs> okay. Let, let, um, if I, if I got you correctly, yeah. If, um, for those in like level 20, the NFT will be more expensive compared to those lower than them, correct? Uh, NFT will be more expensive than than what? Sorry. Than lo those at lower levels, like the NFT, they could uh, the, the, the like you said, like the skin. Uh, there will, there won't be leveling system for those without NFTs. So basically, people without the NFTs or the token, they can play the game, complete some tasks, uh, get some revival then can use that revival against someone else. So the betting, there's going to be a simple PvP mode and a betting uh, PvP mode for people without anything, but nothing else. That's but it, those I, two modes. If I get your uh, your question correct, correctly, yes. So uh, the NFTs at higher level will be worth more than the NFTs at lower levels. That's just by, by nature, right? Oh, so yeah. somebody... 
So somebody at level 10 has reached a certain level. They have a certain reach stats or whatever the hell. Um, a level 20 is definitely going to have way more. So in terms of our renting market, our rental, uh, NFT rental market, you know, they're going to worth much more. And then if you want to go ahead and sell a level 20 uh, on the open market or whatever, uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be worth much more. So yeah. does you're that answer like your question? Level one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting my question. So if I'm like level one and I have the money to get um, an F- NFT for someone at level 20, can, mm-hmm. can I rent it? Yes, you can do that. So yeah. if I rent it, I could literally use that to move up faster on my level because I could use it to play people of, of higher levels, like five. Okay, maybe, so you know. so, so I, I think like, I get you. Would I like use like a, like a cheat code? Like, for instance, I'm at level one. I go get an NFT from someone at level twenty five. Now I, I use it for like a week to try and get to like level twenty mm-hmm. myself because I get to beat so many guys that are, because I have literally what they have up there. Boys on yep. rent, so, so I can use let, that let to me see. move up. Okay. Let me see if I can understand what you're uh, describing here. But basically what you're saying is you have a level one. You're going to rent. You got money, so you're going to rent out a level 20. And then what you're going to mm-hmm. do is uh, kind of like uh, basically fight uh, fight the level one with the level 20 and essentially make him win more, the level one. So you raise his level up even faster, right? So like it's a way of like a hack. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's like, like a hack, hack basically. Hack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're 100% right. That is, uh, we don't have, uh, we haven't talked about that yet. But the thing is, is that, you know, once you use that, so for example, you, you, you rent a level 20, not only do you have to rent a level 20, but you're also staking money as well. So there's a ton of money that you're going to be losing as well. Not only are you renting that NFT, but you're losing that stake that you're, you're staking as well. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because for every single fight, you have to stake something, right? The level one and that level 20 or whatever that you rented. So go ahead. Go ahead and rent that NFT out for level 20. But you're still losing more money. Every single round that you do, you're still losing more money. So, um, yeah, if you had the money, I mean, like, you could do that. Uh, but yeah, okay. it, it, it's, it's a huge loss, though. Okay, and also you said um there'll be two phases like there'll be fighting for betting and there'll be normal fights, yeah. Uh, those are two options available for the people without NFTs. Okay, so let, let's say for instance I want to bet big, but I don't really know how to play the game. So what goes for me? Practice. There's gonna be a practice mode <laughs> or. Or just, or just uh, play a, uh, you know, uh, play the ones that you're not gonna lose the money in the first. You know, practice on in the practice mode, and then go play with the live players with the other players. But, but you know, with time, if there's if there's proper ranking, people will be known for their ranks, like number one, yeah. number two. They'll be very, very popular. So let's say, for yeah. instance, now number one and number three are playing like a match. Everyone will want to like see who's the winner and stuff. So would there be like opportunities to like bet on that their match, not yours, like them, two different parties you don't even have anything to do with? So let me see if I can uh, get uh, yeah, so what you just Christian said. So, preparing stars. so so basically, you're saying it can outsiders bet on matches? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah so I think. Uh, Aramis, you can you can best answer that, but uh, I think yeah, that's a feature uh, that we were thinking sorry, about. Sorry, I fizzed yep. out a little bit, but uh, last Eden, one of our partners uh, will have a place for us in their metaverse, and there will be screens, and people will be able to view the battles and bet on them. Yes. Kalau Citadel, another metaverse, which, uh, we, which we are partnering with, uh, going... We we are discussing that, discussing that, and we probably gonna do that there as well. Yeah, yeah. because because I feel like it it'd be nice. For instance, if um, number one and number two wants to play, there might be like so many bets, and if you apply tax to it, you could generate income. Yeah, yeah. Uh, burn some tokens, add them to liquidity. Yeah, yeah. We we are working from through a lot of uh, different ways to burn the tokens, add to liquidity. Yeah, so. 
uh, yeah, but, but that's that's not out of the question. Definitely, this we will implement. We will just see how to do that. Uh, maybe that will be like in-game kind of uh, way to do to to see, and then we will uh, you know stream those uh, stream those fights on the big screens in the metaverses like VR metaverses because uh, both Last Eden and uh, uh, Citadel will be VR based. You know, so people will be walking around and just. Oh, they see a you know row of fight. Let's let's go see what the options are. Oh, I can bet on it. Nice. Let's see what's going on. Like if someone f sees that for the first time, let's say most games, when you are in a level, you get to fight people of similar level. Like say you're on level one, they they automatically give you people like close to two, one, three. Could you like have options to like okay, I want to fight someone on level ten because I think I can beat them and stuff. We have like, uh, the flexibility of like. I want to go all out. I want to. I know this guy is not that good. I know I just came in, but I'm a gamer. I'm very good at this. So if you give me someone from level ten, I'm a level two. I think I can pin them up. I'm going to win them up. We have like flexibility because most games you have to like, for instance, like COD. I play, I play COD very, very well. So you have to when you when you start, you get people from like your range because they know that it's be too hard if they give you someone from like a very high level. So they give you something similar that you can work with. Well, I knew some of us, we were like, nah, this is about too weak. I need someone very strong. Obviously, my help yeah. as well to go faster. So they have like that flexibility. So you will, um, one one of the ways uh, how we thought to get people into guilds more is that one of the, one of the uh, reasons will be that you will be, your uh, level gap will be expanded to what is the maximum you can fight. So, for example, if you are a lonely cyborg, you're <laughs> without a guild, you'll, your maximum will be five levels above you. Uh, if you are in a guild, then it will be, let's say, ten. We, we don't know exactly now because we'll have to test those things in a better phase and see. Because, like, if there is, if we're going to see that uh, the, the biggest level, which we think in theory just can kill you with one punch or one kick, then we're going to lower it or we're going to make them less strong or, you, you know, so we'll expand it uh, in the guilds if you are a guild member, but we will see what that number is going to be. Like, how do you get into a guild? Can you walk me through? Uh, so, you know what, uh, maybe Christian, you can talk about, so you can introduce the smart contracts a little bit and everything uh, from, from that perspective. And the uh, master NFTs and yeah. all of that. Okay, so, all right. So basically, to answer your question as to the previous one, can you have uh, fight levels above you? Short answer: Yes, you can. Um, of course, they're going to be. We're gonna, we're possibly going to put as as Arma said, we're going to put limits on as to that, that the range of how you can you know that that range, uh, whether it's plus five, minus five, plus ten, minus ten. We'll do that, and as time goes on. We can also change it as well. Now, in terms of the guilds, um, this is a separate feature. So for the guilds is, I don't know if you guys ever played kind of like World of Warcraft type of situation. What we want to do is uh, enable individuals to basically uh, 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 form guilds and be in guilds. And that in itself will give you a little bit more, as Aramis mentioned, uh, a little bit of more strength and the ability to, you know, uh, basically win back your equipment or win back some money or or lower the amount of bets that uh, 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 that you have to that you have to stake in order to fight um, in terms of how that is going to work uh, let me just walk you through so an individual like yourself you want to create a guild you'll basically go into our our smart contract and purchase a guild that means that you'll deploy um, another smart contract that's related to your guild alone and from there you're you're able to mint NFTs, other NFTs, secondary NFTs that will that you'll be able to give to your guild holders. That will that holding an NFT from your guild basically says that you're part of this guild, and it could be tradable amongst themselves or amongst other people. And you'll also be able to participate in in a DAO, essentially, right? Uh, all those NFT holders in that guild will be able to participate in the the guild DAO. You can say. And uh, be able to either approve folks to come into the game or kick out folks if, you know, you guys need to. And also uh, also approve the funds. So you're, you're going to be able to raise funds in these guilds too, right? Because all you guys' matches that you guys do in a guild or whatever, 
that's going to add to your treasury in the guild. So, of course, you're going to have to kind of like approve what to do with this money in the uh, treasury. Does that answer a little bit about uh, – does that answer yeah. a little, uh, your question yeah. a bit? It, it seems do you have any more? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It seems there's going to be more technicalities in this game because the more I ask questions, the more I see um, more answers. It's like, whoa, this is bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be very basic, like, do this, do nope. that. <laughs> so but so it, it, it is – it definitely is a lot of features that we're we're, we're going to phase in now. Yeah, at the beginning, you know, it's it, we are, and that's exactly why you know, um, of course, we we're looking for funding so that we can accelerate all this. But at the end of the day, I mean, like the, these, this guild type of situation is a good addition to uh, this game because well, not a lot of games have this type of situation, these, these type of things, um, uh, you know, blockchain based <laughs> games. But definitely for sure, it's uh. It's not just uh, one game, you know, we're just going to make it, it's a fighting game, blah, it's dead. No, there's a lot of more features to it that we're going to add. So, as you can see, that this is a long-term type of project and not your yeah, that's, basic that's short-term. that's the exciting stuff. That's the exciting stuff. Yeah. The fact that there's something new that you could do, that's exciting. When you know you can explore more, it's not like you go on just fight someone and you go out, it does, it's mm-hmm. very boring. You need to have so many features so you can oh there's something new i, I can tell you thing. one fun feature so rank 20 from rank 20 people will be able to uh do uh how is it bounty hunting so um basically they will be able uh someone some guy will be able to uh, to put a spell on another guy and for example we are thinking about the, the situation where if you are fighting level 5 above you then the, the ratio of uh, how much money you're going to lose to the ratio of how much money you're going to win with that guy, you, you, it ends up in your favor a little bit because he has a favor of beating you. But if someone puts a curse on you, all these statistics, you know, are just destroyed and uh, you will have a choice to make either don't play for a day because it needs to wear out in 24 hours or someone in the guild can avenge you for free, or you can pay like 100 revival to fight this guy again and get the curse on him, and he won't be able to fight you back, basically. You know, these fi- f- uh, fun, fun situations, you know. So we will make more uh, uh, bounty... <laughs> I'm always mixing that up. Uh, bounty hunting uh, type of situation where it will be fun, like, oh, crap! I got a, you know, I got a spell yeah. again. I must do something fast about it. Yeah. But this okay. is a testament okay. to what we're building, though. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, this is, as, as I just got to reiterate, this is a long-term situation. That's the way we're looking at it. We're going to add more yeah. features. We're going to release more features and all that. So definitely uh, looking forward to our work ahead. Yeah, well, sure. If there's one thing I have to say... You all will need to prepare uh, how to play this game because it seems it's a lot. There, there, there needs to be like how to play this game because people yep. might not know of some of like there's going to be like a file or something like that so we can go be true because I didn't know all this parts of today. Like if someone would have asked me this question like mm-hmm. um some hours ago, like what's the game about? Like oh, it's a fighting game. It's just fights and stuff, bets and stuff. But right white now, paper. All this, if you read the white all, paper, you knew it. <laughs> you would know it. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the things are, but you, I think with, as time goes on, you get to, I think you guys will get to figure out more features you could add. Because um, <laughs> players will also have their opinions. and like, what about we do this like this? Or what about we do this? So I think that will be more. Very welcome. And may, Very welcome. The, you know, the, the we want to I'm make that as as possible. Questions. Yeah. The main reason why I'm asking all these questions is, I want to be able to tell someone much about this because the thing about games is that if you if you can't answer some questions, it's like you are not really ready to say to to put it out to them. You need to be able to give them, even though they are not asking questions. You need to be able to give them more information. Like if someone says, "Well, are you fighting," like okay, you can fight, you can bet. Also, you can stake your NFTs. Also, there's this. Also, the more you keep saying, also, like whoa, whoa, this is this is the shit. Do you understand? So that's why I wanted to know more information about stuff. 
So yeah. I could push it out with someone. Could there be like team matches? Like if I say, okay, I have a friend. He's um player two four zero. Can I say I want to team up with him and fight on a team? Would there be like a dual team or or? Uh, yeah, uh, I can answer that. So I actually uh, fought that concept not long time ago, but there will be situation where people will buy two NFTs, free NFTs and such. So in guilds, uh, basically there are, let's say there are tournament guild tournaments. There's going to be a thing called guild tournaments. There will, will be a situation where if your mate is uh let's say has very very like little hp left he presses a button he goes out of the arena and then you come in so basically you two are playing not at the same time but uh you are waiting for your turn and you know maybe you, you end up even with even with less hp and he and you press the button and he comes back to play and like you know um another nice, team nice. will have the same thing so yeah, and that will that that uh, that that concept will only be in uh, in team tor- in uh, sorry in guild tournaments. Sorry, I'm a little bit already like <laughs> phasing out. So nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, definitely. And and as well, I wanted to add for the question before, not question, but like mention from Yusuf. Uh, about teaching everyone how to play the game. <laughs> so actually, in, in, in the future and when the game will be developing, uh, we will make some uh, videos, streams about the game, how to play, uh, tutorials and explanation yeah, that's what about the to game. Talk about because yeah, like that how to play because some people will like they they really white people and stuff. But they really need to know how to play, like every feature. Yeah, like, actually, you, you actually, to see, to see it, to hear it, how it works, how to use it, when to use it. So yeah, so we will we will educate our community how to play this game, let's say properly, and how to use it at its fullest. Yeah. Also, we'll be Twitch streaming, you know, so. Uh, uh, trying to get some gamers into the game as well, so we will try to uh, get uh, new people into NFTs, into game, into blockchain gaming, and stuff like that. Uh, Edgar, a uh, guy near me, uh, ha- yeah, he used to be a Twitch streamer for the game, so we will revive that. You know, revival of Avalanche will be revived <laughs> in his Twitch. Stream. Revival of everything will be, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and basically as well, we will uh, educate the gamers about the NFT sphere, blockchain gaming, basically about our future. So, yeah, nice. yeah. In gen- just in general, you know, as well, not not only about us, but uh, in, in just in general. In uh, general, yeah, yeah. What it what it is NFT and how NFT will be implemented into gaming in the future and all of that kind of stuff. For a player to want to, for instance, play and stick their NFTs, do they need to wait for another player to want to play with them, or could they be like bots? They could also play with. Yeah, there will be bots. Uh, there will be some sort of like a arcade type of situation where w- once you complete that, you will earn some initial revival tokens. Uh, but mostly it's going to be PvP because, you know, it's fun to play online. So, uh, you know, we we could uh, maybe think about something like as well where two guys fight an NPC, like a strong NPC boss or something where uh, as well one player fights, press the button, he escapes, uh, some other guy comes in. But mostly it's going to be based about PvP, I guess. Uh, One more thing, what I think, uh, and and as I understand that he will have questions and everything, we should make in our Discord server the channel for the EMA questions. For example, if some if for someone will pop out the question, they can if they can write down those questions over there, and when we will have EMA, we can answer to all of them. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, so first, it would be those question answer, uh, those question answered, and then it, it would go into a casual phase where we would talk with the uh, people about the KYC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> no, but uh, seriously, yeah. So first, like a more refined, uh, you know, just straight to the point and then casual talk. As well, I want to mention that uh, from this uh, Saturday, in Discord, we will have community streams where we as well will talk exactly. about the progress, exactly. uh, about the game, and we will have it weekly. Every Saturday, we will have a streams where we will talk about the progress of the pro of the project itself, of the game, of the NFTs, of the community, and everything. Yeah, it's more casual. We make pauses yeah. there. We, you know, uh, it's not all of us. Most of the time, yeah. sometimes it's just like me and Edgar, maybe Chris and it's, and, or and, Eduardo, but it's just like and, we, we are more there casual with that. Yeah, and, and it's like a, just a fun time with the community and yeah, to get closer. Sleep, Yusuf. It's time for sleep. <laughs> 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 no, no more questions. Brother. No more questions. You want to, they're going to kill me, man. Because if you ask more questions now, brother, I, I get divorced. So please. We have we all have that same problem. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd 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 save them for next time. It, it was a very great anime. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Thanks a lot. Thanks guys for turning.